I've been through some tough stuff in my life. Having to ration out, you know, 40 or 50 bucks to try to make it work for the next two weeks because money was tight. And this was not that long ago, maybe four years ago. I was in some tough stuff, really difficult times. That's why this resonates with me, because I've lived it. I think a lot of people, even if they're not saying it, are dealing with some tough things right now in their lives. If it's if it's not due to inflation, if it's if it is due to their health or it's due to their mental state, people don't talk about real things that are happening to them. And I think that's unfortunate because we're all in this journey of life together. I know that sometimes people are being tough and being, uh, what do you call it? Just trying to shoulder that entire load. And I don't think masculinity, I don't think being a man is about not talking about your faults or talking about trials and tribulations that you're, you've gone through. I think there's strength with recognizing that you don't have it all figured out, but you are present and then you're focusing on what you're, what you can control in the moment. That's what I want people to start doing and to start thinking about when they're going through a tough time. What can you do right now to ensure that you're better today than you were yesterday and that you're moving towards being more productive, being more financially stable? That's why I have on this platform content like when I put out one of talking about developing your skill set. If you don't want to go to college, you don't have the money to go to college, you can develop in the trades and things like that and vice versa. And also not having excuses. All right. So this series, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I think it's centered around like life lessons and mentality. And in all honesty, this is what I appreciate and I enjoy doing more so than anything. Just kind of having a, a life lessons, productivity based conversation. This is therapeutic for me, guys. It really is.